If anything is at the heart of safe and responsible operations at the Savannah River site, it is dispositioning liquid nuclear waste and operationally closing the waste tanks. These acts have profound significance to the well-being of the community, the nation, and the world. The liquid waste program is very important to the state of South Carolina, to the site, and to the entire Department of Energy Environmental Management Program. The state considers us to be the top cleanup project in the entire state. The Department of Energy here at Savannah Riverside entrusts us with cleaning up over 37 million gallons of high-level radioactive waste produced from the operations of the canyons here at Savannah Riverside. The radioactive waste from SRS is contained in the F and H area tank farms. Much of this waste resulted from the radiochemical processing that occurred in F and H Canyon during the Cold War. Approximately 37 million gallons of this radioactive byproduct is held in 45 large underground waste tanks that were constructed between 1951 and 1981. 18 of these tanks are of the original design and are currently the priority in the process of removing the waste and permanently closing them. Our mission is largely an environmental mission. One of the major things that we do is obviously safely store 37 million gallons of nuclear chemical waste. A second thing that we do is that we process batches and prepare batches to feed DWPF, ARPMCU, and salt stone. So that comprises basically making up sludge and salt batches to feed those facilities. And then a third thing that we're doing is that as we make up those batches, we're cleaning out tanks uh, so that ultimately we can close them and grout them. And currently we have six of our 51 tanks are closed and grouted. Ultimately, the waste in the tanks will be processed into a manageable glass and concrete form, allowing each tank to be permanently closed, rendering it unusable. Through the years, the engineers of Liquid Waste and the scientists of Savannah River National Laboratory have worked together to ensure the design and successful operation of the overall process, preventing future contamination of the environment. We have the people, we have the processes, and we have the systems in place and particularly our people are top-notch and make sure that we do this process safely and protect the environment here in South Carolina. The liquid nuclear waste in the tanks exists as water and two other forms, a crystalline substance known as salt waste and a sludge form. The water in the tank is sent to the effluent treatment facility, or ETF, where it is evaporated by boiling it off. The residual salt is pumped back into the waste tank to be treated with the other waste forms. The radioactivity in the tank is equally divided between the sludge and salt waste. Dispositioning these waste components involves a number of processes. The sludge is sent to the Defense Waste Processing Facility, or DWPF. Presently, the actinide removal process, or ARP, and the Modular Caustic Side Solvent Extraction Unit, known as MCU, work in tandem to remove all of the radioactive isotopes from the salt waste. The ARP and MCU removes long-lived radioactive particles and transfers them to the Defense Waste Processing Facility. Uh, ARP MCU is a facility that we brought online in 2008. And since that time, we've already processed about 4.7 million gallons of our salt waste from our tanks through the ARP MCU process. Its function in life is pretty simple. It's to really decontaminate that stream so that we can send the decontaminated salt stream to salt stone to be processed into grout. And then we can take the products that we remove from that stream, both from ARP, which is strontium and plutonium, and from MCU, it's cesium. And we take those products and then put them in the glass in DWPF. In a process known as vitrification, the sludge, along with the salt waste, is mixed with molten glass and poured into a long stainless steel canister. The lid of the canister is welded shut and the exterior decontaminated. It is then safely stored in steel-reinforced vaults inside the glass waste storage buildings awaiting shipment to an off-site federal repository. After the radioactive components of the salt waste are stripped out and sent to the DWPF, the resultant decontaminated salt waste solution is transferred to the saltstone production facility. There, it will be mixed with a dry cement-like material that will form a grout and be safely and permanently stored in engineered storage units. 
One of the things we bring is lots of new innovations to the site, and this is an example behind me. Before we stored the, the grout in 2.9 million gallon vessels, now we're supersizing to a 32 million gallon vessel, which will be a significant savings to the Department of Energy. This larger type and style of tank is more efficient to build than the four individual, as we call a four pack uh, tanks that are typically in the three million range. And so with the, the scale of economy and the, uh, the breadth of the project size, it's uh, more efficient to, to build this size of tank. We have a workforce that's very skilled. They demonstrate a lot of teamwork and they care about one another. And it's that commitment both to each other and the work that they do that makes them successful. And that's why they matter. For me, my job matters because I'm supporting these guys who are qualified to run these systems. And I'm helping others by doing my job efficiently. We're getting rid of the nuclear waste, which is pretty dangerous and hazardous to the environment and could be dangerous to people's health if it got out. Effectively do what we need to do every day to you know, get this waste in the tanks closed. Protect the country, protect people around here. And I'm part of that community and uh, I'm part of the workforce, so I want to you know, keep my job going to get rid of this stuff because my kids and I live outside the gate. Very important thing that we deal with it for our children and for our children's children and I feel very privileged to work here. That's why my job matters. Because of the contributions of a highly skilled and committed workforce, risk to the environment, workers, and the public is reduced with every waste tank successfully closed. Ultimately, our mission is about risk reduction. It's important to the state of South Carolina, it's important to the Department of Energy. We achieve that through the successful operation of our tank farms, DWPF, Saltstone, and tank closure.